Welcome to another podcast of Master Investor. Glad to be here again on another business and invest and talk. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to our channel and follow us on all social media platforms where we are giving out content about financial education. Our mission here at Master Investor is to elevate the financial well-being of humanity through high quality financial education made simple. We look at opportunities to build passive income and true wealth. My name is Jose, I'm the founder of the company and today's topic is going to be how can we create our first digital asset and how can we improve our financial statement with technology and the resources that we all have available. So if you're someone that is listening to this and have no assets on your asset column, because remember, when you look at your financial statement, we all have one, whether the person has money or not, we all have a financial statement. And by reading that financial statement, we can see how we make our money, if we do it through investing or we do, do it through a job. What are our expenses? What is the income that we're making? What are our assets and what are our liabilities and how the cash flow flows through our financial statement? And we can see whether we have a negative cash flow at the end of the month, how much money we have left after all expenses are made, right? And so we need to, number one, learn how to read our financial statement because the foundation of true wealth is found in the ability to read financial statements because every person has a financial statement and every business or investment has a financial statement. So when we are investing into a business or any sort of investment, we should be reading the financial statements of that investment to determine whether that investment is a sound investment that will create passive income or capital gains income for us rapidly and will sustain down economies because there are assets that will do great even when the economies are crashing. However, we need to also understand that there are five asset classes that exist. Number one, business, or yeah, number two, real estate, number three, paper assets, number four, crypto, and number five, commodities. Those are the asset classes that exist that we can all invest in. So if you have no assets, you should focus on building or acquiring an asset in one of those asset classes that I just mentioned, and then start diversifying among the other asset classes so that you can protect yourself from down economies and hedge for inflation. Remember, we're using inflation as a tool to leverage our wealth to the next level because inflation is our friend. We need to learn how to deal with it and understand how to create our pipeline of passive income from businesses or any other asset that will create passive income and sometimes capital gains income. And that way we can begin to turn that money into more money by, by putting it into a new asset. So we're learning and mastering how to make money work hard for us. Because the job number one of an entrepreneur is to raise capital and the job number one of a master investor is to put money to work. So the three E's of a master investor is financial education, experience, and excess of cash flow. So when we have excess of cash flow, that means that we are controlling assets that are producing us positive cash flow. And we need to have a plan for that cash flow to make more money, to move it into a new asset or to improve the existing asset in which that money is coming from. So as you learn in business and investing in how the money works today, you begin to understand that not only money is created with debt, meaning that money is fiat money, is fake money, monopoly money, and just an idea backed up by confidence. Therefore, we can actually use debt to become wealthy tax-free because debt itself is tax-free money. Legally, we cannot pay taxes on debt because money is created with debt. So what we need to do is focus on investing in our financial education, reading our financial statement, our personal financial statement, and begin to 
create a plan of how we're going to acquire the first asset that will make us money even while we're sleeping. Think about that. Majority of people in the world cannot make money while they sleep. They have to get up, go to work somewhere. And there's nothing wrong with having a job. We need great employees. But we suggest everyone, even if you love your job, to begin understanding investing because at some point you're going to want to retire from the job. And you want to have enough passive income coming in from investing that can fulfill all the dreams and goals that you have after you retire. Maybe you want to travel. Maybe you want to create something, but you need that cash flow coming in. You need to have the financial freedom that is required in order to do anything great. Okay, so start with your first asset. If you have no assets on your financial statement, and I want to invite you to our website because we have a financial statement that is blank. You can download it straight to your computer. You can print it out. It's actually an Excel document and you can fill it in and figure out where you are financially today, which is a step one that I suggest everyone to do if you have no assets and you never fill out your own financial statement. It is important because that's the foundation of true wealth. That's where everything starts with financial education and your personal financial statement. And once you figure out your financial situation, then we create a plan on how we're going to acquire our first asset that will create, it doesn't matter how much it will create, as long as it's creating positive cash flow, even if it's $10, even if it's $25 per day while you're sleeping. It adds up because it's money that you're not working for. The asset itself is making that money. So at the beginning of the podcast, I said that we're going to be speaking about how to create our first digital asset. And the reason why I said digital asset is because it's the easiest and fastest way a person can acquire their first asset. Because you can literally begin to print money online with an asset today within 24 hours there are websites legal websites marketplaces where you go and find a product that you can promote and you don't need to create a website you can use their websites and the marketing tools that they give you the company gives you to promote their products and all you have to do is find the client so if you have Facebook you can look at Facebook forums and you can do an ad on Facebook for a few dollars and then put that ad in front of those people and they click on it. Maybe it's a product about health. Maybe you were interested in self-development or any other topic. You can find a product on any category that you can think of. And you can begin to promote that for an exchange of a percentage of every sale that you're making. Now, if the customer only buys one time, you only get one time percentage but if the there are products in the marketplaces that will pay you consistently every time the customer makes a payment so maybe it's a membership of some kind maybe it's a product that they want to buy every single month but that customer is linked to your company or to you uh, forever and we begin to create an email list of clients of people that are interested in buying a product if a person buys from you one time because you direct them somewhere to buy the product that they're looking for the solution then they will listen to you and will buy most likely in the future from you with another product. So having an email list with potential clients is essential, you know, because we want to have networks and we want to be able to send our networks to buy products with companies that are giving us a percentage. When you go to our website, we also have a mutual agreement that you can use. If you meet somebody that has a business and you're going to send customers to them, you can put a mutual agreement on the table and say, hey, I want 13% for every sale that I get, that I send you your way. I have, I don't know, 10,000 people that might be willing to buy what you have. So whoever comes from my network, I want 13% every time they purchase from you forever. And then you put that agreement in place, you sign it, the owner signs it, and it's a win-win. So always go into relationships to create a win-win partnership. And we're going to talk about that on the next podcast, probably about how to create win-win relationships and why it's essential, because ultimately we want to keep that bridge of business forever. We want to be able to send people to them forever and get an exchange. So now, 
if you like to do videos, if you like to do podcasts, if you like to do marketing, all of these things can be also be leveraged using the tools today because the podcast creates passive income. The more listeners, the more streamers, the more people that are listening to your podcast or watching your videos, then the more passive income you'll make because you created that one time and it's playing forever. So understanding the new rules of money, how to read your financial statement, how to improve it, how to acquire your first asset by tapping into the marketplaces that are already offering a commission of either residual income every time because maybe it's a membership or maybe a one-time payment. But who cares because at the end, you put an ad on Facebook and let's say it reaches 30,000 people out of those 30,000, 10,000 decided to opt in. Now you got their email and out of those 10,000, let's say 100 bought the product right away. Now you have more than 9,000 left on the email list that they might buy soon. We just need to educate them. So we send them an email, a campaign, educating them about the product that they're looking for. Sometimes people take 13 times of communication before they decide to buy. But the ad was working for us while we were sleeping. We created the ad in less than five minutes. It doesn't take long at all to create an ad on Facebook. It's very self-explanatory actually. And Facebook doesn't charge you until the end of the month. So you can start today and you will have to pay for that ad, whatever amount you spend on that ad at the end of the month. So you have 30 days of doing ads and then with the money that you're raising from the sales, you can then pay Facebook. But you need to have a credit card or a card attached to that account, okay? That's how Facebook will allow you to begin to do ads. So you can get started with no money, look for a product, create an ad, okay? and begin to receive those sales on autopilot even while you're sleeping. That's gonna be an amazing achievement because you're gonna understand that you don't need to be awake or working at a place to make income. You can actually create passive income or capital gains income through sound investing and understanding how to do business because now you have a business, yes, you're selling other people's products. You didn't create the product. You don't have to store the product. They did everything for you and they're giving you a percentage of each sale, that's a win-win. Okay, now, if you wanna take it to the next level, if you have a passion of yours that you want to express to the world, then you can create an ebook and put it on Amazon and sell it in different platforms. Okay, it can be 20 pages, it can be 30 pages. It doesn't matter how, how long the, the book is, but you can sit down, write a Word document, put a title on it, get some chapters in, and give inside information, organize information and that information is valuable because today we have so much information that people are literally paying for the information that is organized with chapters, okay? Because that same information, we can get it for free online, but people don't have the time to search the entire internet for hours to find the how-to or whatever problem they're attempting to solve. If they can get one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, ten, whatever many chapters you put to solve their problem, to educate them about a problem that they have and the solution that they can use to solve that, then they're willing to pay for that. It's the speed of light because now they not only have the solution in their hands, but you also make money instantly. You make money by putting an ad out there that took you less than five minutes. You could create a video about it that stays forever on the web and people might find it in a year from now. So that same product that you're selling today, which you created an ad, that video will sell the product in a year from now, in three years from now. As long as you never take it down, that product will remain there with the video. So the power that we have with the technology is amazing today so take advantage my my advice to you is to read financial education get educated financially that's why we created our books how to build cash flow with the internet and the 10 new rules of money we also have that we have two ebooks right now 
you can find it on Amazon, but I suggest you go to our website because you will have extra assets that will come with each course because we turn the, the book into a digital course. So you have videos and you have the, the entire book. You can download the book into your device or you can use the virtual office that we give you to enter the products and watch all the videos and access the other assets that we are adding in each digital course. So the 10 new rules of money, you'll find it on our website inside of our digital course. And so you're paying the same amount of money or probably more on Amazon, but if you go to our website, you're gonna have the book plus other assets because it's a digital course. On Amazon, you just get the book, okay? So just go straight to our website and it's better for you and you have a virtual office you can access it right from your smart device from your phone and you can start reading financial education okay you need to have financial education because the three E's of a master investor like i mentioned earlier are financial education number one number two experience you have to act and apply what you learn you have to take massive action so it's about reading and then go ahead and applying that so what i told you in this podcast now you need to turn that into real money, into a real business by, go, by not only acquiring the books that I'm asking you to do, right, to go get them on our website, but make an investment to your financial education because no one will ever take that away from you, but also take massive action. Go find the marketplaces that I'm telling you and, and obtain a partnership with the companies that are offering a, a commission or residual income in exchange for you to bring sales into their company. And the marketplace, there are many of them. One of them is called clickbank.com. It's one of the best ones out there. There are many of them, but you'll find many products in there. So you can get started right now. So there's no reason why you should not begin to create passive income or capital gains income um, today using the internet, creating your first digital asset, okay? acquiring your first digital asset. You don't need to create a product. You can actually acquire the first digital asset for free because you're partnering with a company that has already created the product. They have the legalities in order. They have marketing tools. They have sales pages that are created by gurus that are experts in selling through sales pages, okay? And uh, you can leverage all of that so get started right now visit clickbank visit our website go get our ebooks and make sure you follow us here on this podcast and if you love to hear more about money business and investing then you landed on the right place welcome to master investor this is a place for anyone who wishes to bring that investor inside of them to become a master investor to be able to make money work hard for them okay we all have an investor inside of us however majority of people keep their investor average because they are busy working for money and they don't want to learn about investing because they think investing is risky and we always say here inside of our community that it's not the investment that is risky but rather the investor behind the investment that makes the investment risky so the person that lacks financial education will see everything as risky but the person that has financial education will know how to navigate to risk and will take calculated risk. Bringing you the good and bad news of money, the business principles that work in all economies. Remember today, money is created with debt. So when we use debt, it's tax-free. And we want to learn how to leverage that because the number one highest expense humans have are taxes. So we can minimize that all the way to zero legally using debt then we are already above the average. We are already wealthier than the average human being. Okay, so we always encourage everyone to learn how to invest debt, not to be debt free. In fact, get into more good debt. There are two types of debt. Good debt makes us wealthy and bad debt, of course, does the very opposite. So choose your debt wisely. When you are going to use a credit card, ask yourself, is this an asset that I'm going to put this money into because debt is money remember so treat it like money like cash so am i buying an asset am i acquiring an asset with this debt who's going to be paying back the debt is it the asset or am i going to be paying the uh, the debt back and the interest back with my 
time working at a job, right? And so you need to decide how the debt is going to be paid and if the debt's going to make us money, passive income, if the debt makes us money after the payment is being made every month back to the bank or whoever gave us the loan, then that's good debt. So good debt makes us wealthy and bad debt does the very opposite, it withdraws money away from us, okay? And there's nothing wrong with having liabilities as long as we have an asset that will pay for that liability cost because maybe we like to have that experience. Maybe we want to have the Bugatti or the Lamborghini and it doesn't really make us money or maybe it does, but if, let's say it doesn't make us money, we just want to drive it in the weekends because we that's our dream car, then we find an asset that will pay for that liability but we don't get the liability before we have the asset, okay? That will cover for the payments of that liability. So there's nothing wrong with having liabilities as long as we have assets or an asset that will pay for that expense. And make sure that on your expense column, you put investing at the very top. So number one expense is investing. You need to invest. You need to turn your safe capital into passive income and capital gains income through sound investing. Thank you for listening. I hope that you enjoy today's money, business, and investing talk. Leave a comment below. Share this content with other people. And make sure you go to all social media platforms and follow us there. Look for the logo, Master Investor. And welcome to our community again. I appreciate your business and time that you put into your financial education. Stay great and wealthy. Bye for now.